Welcome everyone to the 2021 Scandinavian Energy Crisis. So you may wonder why we're down in a battery room at midnight with a heater off in the middle of winter and the inverter screaming away and a clamp meter in our hands. Well, uh, energy prices up here in uh, the European North have gone absolutely insane. Uh, in the daytime, you're paying over 50 cents per kilowatt hour uh, for your energy. Uh, in the night time, you're paying uh, 20 cents, thereabouts. Uh, and at those prices and price differentials, uh, I think it makes sense for me to just uh, run in battery in the day and uh, charge up in the night. It's absolutely ridiculous. I never thought I'd have to do this. Uh, but uh, I set everything up very early this morning to be ready to run today and we've been running on battery all day today and now we're charging at uh, 180 amps we've been discharging at about 30-40 uh, uh, amps all day I have a heat pump running while I was asleep and uh, this is certainly a proper stress test for the entire system so we're charging that bank at 78 amps. We're charging the auxiliary bank at 28 amps. And we're charging this bank at about 80 as well. So I'm going to have to keep a close eye on the cell voltage, just close eye on the temperature, just make sure nothing goes wrong. I know these cells, they can get a bit temperamental when you charge them uh, super fast so uh, it could be a bit of an issue but we do have a temperature sensor in each of the BMS boards which is going to give us some resolution we're going to notice if something goes on fire. I am very happy I have the extra battery capacity right now. Uh, heating this place just living right now would be it, it's going to be very expensive no matter how you turn it but uh, yeah, I can actually use this thing to even out my district, my power consumption over over a day, and uh, hopefully not get as ruined as I otherwise would. And uh, if nothing else, we're getting some uh, good uh, tests done on the batteries because these guys are going to be working hard the upcoming weeks because we only have about five or six hours. Uh, to actually recharge uh, before the prices just go crazy again. If we look at an Nord Pole uh, site, uh, I guess we're not checking Nord Pool right now. Uh, they're probably down just because everyone's going there, going, what the hell's going on? Uh, so I can't give you the actual current price for my electricity, but uh, rest assured, uh, it's going to be cheaper than uh, using it in the day. Absolutely ridiculous. So this is actually the first time I've ever had a chance to really uh, stress test this system uh, properly uh, with the maximum charging. We're, we're drawing about 13 kilowatts from the grid. It's just absolutely insane. Uh, I can't switch to the thermal right now, but I can tell you all my input wiring, everything is just getting slightly warm. Uh, because there's so much current going through everything and of course we can't rely on solar because it's uh, the middle of December uh, literally the winter solstice uh, there's no sun to speak of I can't just go off grid uh, without uh, like getting a petrol generator which is just going to be even more expensive yeah so there you go that's that's, <laughs> that's what the uh, Scandinavian energy crisis is doing to me right now. If you're uh, living anywhere close to me, I hope you're keeping track of your power consumption and uh, aren't going to get a 1,000 euro uh, power bill next month. Bye.